Hey tubers, me again. Hey, this is for, this is like one of those, uh, it's an anomaly of the, the Southwest here. And this unit is actually what they call a swamp cooler or an evaporative cooler. And the way that it works is down in here, this is just a reservoir of water, okay? And then over here, this is just a little pump. And the pump will take and it pushes the water up through that pipe right there. This will also be helpful if you need to work on your own and you don't really know what, what you're getting into. And then this thing up here is what they call a spider. This is a small cooler, it's just for a garage. And so normally they would be bigger and there would be like two spiders on this, two spiders over there. And it's actually a straight downdraft uh, evaporative cooler. Sometimes they go off to the side so you, you would only have three sets of pads. Now the, the principle of this thing is, is the best way that I can explain it is if you're a golfer and you're out there and it's hot and you're getting all sweaty and as soon as you get on the cart and you start driving and you create that breeze that breeze will evaporate the moisture from your skin and gives you the cooling effect <laughs> in the desert southwest where it is just so bloody dry at certain times of the year not during the monsoons but certain times of the year you can get away with using one of these coolers and what it does is uh, it puts moisture into your house but also it'll take the water from the, the reservoir it pumps it up and it drops it down through these little spiders now, I'll plug one in so you can actually see it hold on see how that water comes down and it drops down through all like all these different spiders okay I'm gonna shut this off because I'm getting wet and then what happens that water that's dripping down comes and it fills up this tray each one of these little slots right here lets the water trickle down and it gets these aspen uh, pads they're just called pads but they're they're just aspen wood shavings so when you first fire them up they smell real nice but so they get all soaking wet this squirrel cage go you know is running around and it's sucking the air to go down inside as it sucks the air through this pad it picks up all the moisture it, it will bring the moisture and the cool air inside the house the garage the bedroom you can get small units for your bedroom or whatever but essentially that's how it works it just takes uh, water pumps it up goes to the spiders they get clogged and so do these so do the trays inside of these the pad holders they get clogged too so sometimes it's just as simple as checking those things out and as the water goes and it filters down through the pad if you look on the bottom here's the bottom there's a drainage hole there's another drainage hole and it will take and put the water back down into the reservoir and as it gets you know whatever 110 degrees down here that water will evaporate or the moisture gets sucked into the house and the water level is controlled by this little it's almost like an old-fashioned toilet float and as the water goes down it continually refills itself so basically that's how a swamp cooler works guys and they're pretty very not, not, not gonna say simple it's a very basic simple principle but if you got any questions I think you know where to put them right down there all right guys thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one I'm done I'm working on a cooler I'm out okay you guys so there it is hopefully you can see the focus you can see the water dripping down and that's what makes the pads wet same thing over here oh and the birds love to come and get water out of these things during the summertime they're like hey I'm dying out here so the fan is running 
we got water circulating the patties everything so this bad boy is uh, rocking and rolling okay guys just wanted to share that with you uh we'll catch you on the next episode of somebody needs something done <laughs> all right zombie dave i'm out